Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at each of the items that have recently tanked in price due to the changes in Treasure Hunter. So on September 27th, Jegex made some changes to Treasure Hunter that didn't really get a lot of attention by players, but these changes certainly impact a few items in the game. The Treasure Hunter rework set out to fix some important issues with Treasure Hunter, mainly to make everything more transparent to players. First of all, they made the probabilities for the rarity of the prize known to players as well as the potential rewards they could receive. Along with these changes, they discontinued the Hearts of Ice. Now, these have always been a bit of a strange mechanic, so it is pretty good that they did get rid of that. They also did rebalance some of the rewards and changed some prizes, so they did remove skilling outfits, slayer masks, wicked hood tokens, brilliant alchemist fragments, and all of the skill-specific XP lamps and stars. Now, to replace these, they gave players the option between a few different items, and some of these are the items that tanked in price. So, uh, some of these items include springs, silverhawk feathers, training dummies, portables, and magic notepaper. Now, I'm not complaining about this change. Having prismatic stars and lamps specific to each skill it was kind of annoying, and having lower prices on these sellable items is fine by me as well. So just to see how ridiculously low these prices are, let's take a look at each item that crashed because of this rework. First off, we have springs. Now, these are used for the spring cleaner, and they will high alk any salvage at the cost of one spring. Now, before the Treasure Hunter rework, when it launched on September 27th, these springs costed you right around 4,000 coins. Now, as you can see, as soon as the rework launched, the springs dropped in price, and they dropped every day since. And right now, as of uploading this video, they are priced at just under 300 coins. So this makes the Spring Cleaner a much more viable option for players. Before this rework, when prices were much higher on Springs, you could typically only alk the or Calcum Salvage, the Rune Salvage, and some of the Adamant Salvage for profit. Now, after this rework, since the prices have dropped to 300 coins, you can alk uh, most of these items including most of the steel items and the iron huge salvage along with this i wouldn't even be surprised if the prices of springs end up dropping even further either the amount of springs that are entering the game from treasure hunter is insane and i'm okay with it silverhawk feathers are another item that have crashed by nearly 90 percent since the rework was implemented so on september 27th the price of silverhawk feathers were just over 15,000 coins each now today they are sitting at just around 18,000 coins this drop in price has changed the way players should probably train agility from now on as well Rather than spending hundreds of hours clicking yourself through an agility course, you can now train agility while you're training other skills, and now at a historically low cost as well. Just to put this in perspective, it will take 26,054 Silverhawk Feathers to go from level 1 agility to level 99. And at current prices, this will cost you right around 47.5 million coins. Let's say that again, 47.5 million coins to purchase a 99 and one of the most grindy skills in RuneScape history. That is such a low price. Now, players don't even have to spend a second going through an agility course in order to get 99 agility. Now, if you do want to go from level 1 all the way up to level 120, let's say, well, 
it is pretty good as well. You'll need 132,121 feathers, costing you right around 241 million coins. Now, despite this ridiculously low cost to train this skill passively, it will take you quite a bit of time to go through all of these feathers. You will use one feather per minute of running, or one feather every 45 seconds when you are skilling. When in combat, you will use one feather for every ultimate ability used, with a cooldown of 45 seconds. So basically, you will be using a feather every 45 seconds if you're training a skill, and if you were to go through the 26,000 Silverhawk feathers for level 1 to 99 agility, it would take you approximately 325 hours. Now going from level 1 to 120, it would take you about 1,652 hours to use all of those feathers to get to 120 agility. Now, all this being said, even though it doesn't cost you much to buy all of these Silverhawk Feathers, it still does take a long time to actually use them. So, in a way, Silverhawk Feathers don't allow you to train the skill faster, but instead they just allow you to train agility passively and more so change the meta of the skill. Another item that has tanked because of this Treasure Hunter rework are skilling portable stations. Players have been giving many more portable skilling packs through Treasure Hunter, and this has made the prices for all 8 portable stations crash. Taking the portable well for example. As you can see on this chart, on Monday, September 27th, the portable wells were trading for around 2,000 coins each. And now, basically on November 25th, uh, we're looking at the price right around 2,000 coins, equating to about a 90% drop in price. Again, this is an item that I'm not mad about being cheaper. Players always use these portables when training the respective skills, and that would usually be through things like the portable discord. So now that prices are so low, it wouldn't hurt players to buy their own portables and use those instead of joining a world dedicated to a specific portable station. Finally, another item that has crashed from the treasure hunter work is the magic note paper. So, Magic Note Paper dropped from right around 1,500 coins on September 27th, and now they're priced right around 400 coins each. Now, this could also still drop further as well, and this is another item that doesn't really have a huge impact on the game. It is more of a useful item or a quality of life item that players use to note items in their inventory without having to go to a bank. Now the price drop makes it a much more viable option now and I can't really see too many players being mad about them being cheaper either. So these are the four items that have seen their prices crash from this rework. I would argue that at least three of these items being the magic note paper, the portables, as well as the springs they don't really have a significant impact on the game itself, and the price declines didn't really hurt that much. All three of these items, they're more of a quality of life item, and having them cheaper shouldn't really affect the game. Now, Silverhawk Feathers, on the other hand, may change the way agility is trained from now on. I just don't see players choosing to spend a few hundred hours training the skill through boring agility courses, if they can spend 50 million coins and train the skill passively while they focus on the more enjoyable skills in the game. And again, that being said, I do really like this change. Agility has always been one of the most boring skills in RuneScape, and giving players the option to spend a bit of money and train the skill passively is a pretty great change in my opinion. And so I'll leave you with that. Let me know in the comments what you think of these items being much cheaper than before. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.